Hello, I got stuck a few kilometers along the road and I met a very good guy, Martin. I guess. Martin. Martin is a musician. He has, he plays drums, he plays xylophone and I heard him playing piano. Very good. Some jazz. Yeah, pi uh, piano jazz. Classical. Yes, very good. Mwah. Want, uh, no, no, uh, no light. It is not no light. And we are also charging our battery because there is steep road ahead, and we will continue to uh, Vecchia. La Vecchia. Yes. La Vecchia. Città della Vecchia, where the uh, the, the the drink is made, right? Yes, I will famous drink. Erbazzone. It's very famous uh, food here. Erbazzone is uh, in uh, Reggio Emilia yes. and uh, all, all the province. It's very nice. Very uh, nice, it's yes. Like a, a, I don't know, like a pizza but with uh, vegetables and uh, parmigiano reggiano. Very nice. Very nice. You have to try Erbazzone. Try Erbazzone. Yeah. <laughs> Do try Erbazzone. Also Lambrusco. Lambrusco is a uh, wine here. Uh, Lambrusco. Yes. Si. Uh, famous um, wine in Reggio Emilia. Uh, very nice. Food here is nice. Also, also charging. We yeah. have. So, uh. If you want, if you get stuck here, you can uh, charge. Okay. Thank you very much, Martin. Yeah. Thank you. 13 is our lucky number. This is where we are charging. And I will also try to upload the video. Martin is playing the xylophone. This is the lady that opened the door. Well, this is getting better and better. The baker came by and he gave me some food. Thank you, baker. Martin said he is studying on the university of somewhere here in uh, Parma, I think. And he will be the doctor of music. When I came to this house, the music he played was on piano, now he's playing xylophone. Two Italian bicycle riders stopped me, there is a crossroad somewhere there, S waited for me because they have uh, overtaken me on the on the way up then they waited oh there it is there is the crossroad the blue table they waited for me there and told me i should take this detour the other way this way that comes up here And they say this is be even better, the easier road. The other, the main road, goes down through the hill, uh, through the tunnel. We are on the other side of that mountain. We reached quite high. I believe there is still more to the top. But 
we have finished the driving for today I want to turn back there back parked because the battery is dead completely drained we are in uh, Cervareza so it is a day after day of rain as you can see this time it's a real rain not just scary rain and lucky we the battery is most mostly full because I moved from the guest house about five kilometers on to where we are now I believe today we will reach La Spezia the city on the beach we are having a cool down pause and we are about to reach the top and we met the ugly frog come on frog do the froggy thing it's a big one yeah and it's still raining but we've got enough juice to reach the top we need to reach here and this I believe is top San Bernardetto at a lovely church with a lovely view. That's the church, and that's the main entrance to our accommodation. Today's goal is Genova. 100 kilometers but it is a mountain area I mean mountain road and we'll see how it goes and we are recharging both me and our trailer we are in a little village Morghetto di Vara on the route number one heading to Genova it's quite flat road I love it we are traveling at our desired speed 15 kilometers per hour more or less that mountain road that we passed yesterday was is easily compared to our attack on Varsic in Slovenia not recommended although we were lucky and charged the battery fully and made it over the top in extremely bad weather it was pouring on the top it was foggy and there were short bursts of strong wind and it, it was also very cold I mean I didn't like it at all the small coffee costs 1 euro and 10 cents so it's not expensive very similar to prices in Slovenia I am very pleasantly surprised many Italians speak a very good English which is a surprise for me 